Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use step-by-step -step Pixverse AI, text-to-video and image-to-video AI. And right now, we're gonna tackle two options here. We're gonna use the web, and we're gonna use the Discord community server. So let's start first with the web, so click on it. After clicking on the web option, you'll arrive on the landing page inside Pixverse web application. This is how it should look like, and if you hover your mouse on each template, you'll see the um, prompt that has been used to create this exact video. As you can see on this sample right here, a girl smiling in a forest, and this is its video. If you want to use it as a template, simply click on it. And basically, you can use this as a template to create your own um, AI video by simply clicking on that Go Create button, and you'll be good to go. And basically with this one, if you want to download, of course, click on the download button also right there. So let's try creating our very own video on the web application. So click on the create button right there. So this is going to be the other landing page of Pixverse. Basically, this is the main editing platform inside it. So simply enter a prompt. However, as you can see, I already have some samples created from an earlier version. So let's just try another one. Let's just say a boy in an office. Make it simple as it is. And then you'll have some negative prompts here. Basically, negative prompts are the things you don't want to see on your video. Let's just input some noisy. Sorry about that. Noisy, let's just say um, blurry. And then pixelated. Those are the things that I don't want to see. Now you'll have some option to enable this one. Basically, inspiring prompt for dual clips. It's giving you the option or giving the AI the option to make it more accurate on the prompts. However, it will sacrifice a bit on the quality regarding the creativity side. So I'm going to remain as it is turned off. If you want it to turn on, please do so. Next up, you'll have styles. You have realistic anime and 3D animation. Compared to other AI generation tool, there have a lot of styles, but for this one, Pixverse is still on the beta phase. So I'm going to try creating one of each and see the samples. And then for aspect ratio, I'm going to retain for 16 by 9, the most def uh, default one. So let's create one for realistic, like so. It's, as you can see right there, it's already generating. Let's go for anime, like so, and basically one for 3D animation. As you notice right there, I did not change my prompt because I want to see the difference between the three styles with one prompt only. Now while waiting for this one, let's try the image to video while waiting for it. And I'm going to upload the photo right here. Upload the file right there. And basically look for a file that we're going to use for this video i'm going to use this uh, photo right here i'm just going to look for it let's wait for it to upload as you can see right there it's still uploading perfect now simple on the prompt you might ask i already have an image why am i using a prompt so the prompt here is going to be used as a, a help you can uh, take it as a secondary so i suggest on your prompt make it as close as to the image as possible for example, right there, I'm going to type in a guy in a black shirt. Easy as that. I'm just describing the image. And for the seed, I'm going to read it as it is. Strength of motion is how much the video will move. And I think 0.55 to 0.6 will be the sweet spot for this one. So simply click on create and wait for the video to finish. So as you can see right there, we already have two uh, finish regarding text to video. I think this is gonna be the Pixar style or 3D animation, and this is the anime. As you can see right there, the anime changed its color, even the hairstyle and the looks has been changed. It's pretty good actually if you're gonna ask me the transition, it's pretty smooth. Now for the Pixar style, it's a kid in an office studying his notes I think. If you click on it, you'll have an option to upscale, change the prompt, retry for different variations, and even download it as it's fit now for the sake of the discussion i'm going to upscale this one and once upscaled you'll um direct it on your my videos library basically all of this is going to be our generation and then we're just waiting for the realistic version right now and right now let's try the discord server while waiting for these options so to go to the discord server just look on this button right there however before getting onto that You'll see this option regarding tutorial if you don't have any idea what's going on here. However, you don't need this one because you have me. Now let's move on with the Discord. To access the Discord server, go back here on the landing page and basically click on this gray button, Discord community. As you can see right there, since I have my Discord open up on my background, 
it will ask me to join Pixiverse. Simply click on join and wait for us to be enabled inside their Discord server. So this is going to ask us a few questions here. Let's just skip everything. So right now we're officially welcome inside Pixiverse. To create here, simply type in the button create. And then you'll have some prompts. Let's just say a boy in an office, like so, and basically choose a style. For the style, you have realistic anime and 3D animation. For this part of the video, I'm just going to choose one. I'm going to go for anime. I'm going to have negative prompts, aspect ratio and character. I'm going to choose negative prompt first. I'm going to type in blurry, like so, and noisy. I think that's enough for me. I can add some more here. For example, aspect ratio. I'm going to go for now 4x3. Character, I'm going to go with this character right here. Basically, these are just characters by your own preference. On my end, I'm going to go for none to make it more default and save. Simply click on enter and wait for the image or video to finish. I think this will take around 3 to 4 minutes. Now while waiting, let's go back to the landing page of the web application. So welcome back to the web application and earlier we're still missing the boy realistic one this is it if i click on it right now as you can see this is the realistic version of the boy in the office it's not really moving a lot because this is a bit of a realistic side however if you want to increase the movement again use the movement earlier the uh, motion strength of motion application now regarding the pixar uh, 3d animation this is the upscale version so the difference between the two is that this is much brighter. By my um, trial and error, I found that, that the upscale version only brightens it and sharpens a little bit versus the original one. And I prefer, by my own preference, I prefer the original one with natural lighting. And lastly, we have the image to video output. So this is the original. And regarding the image to video, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Because on the right eye right there, it became a little bit squint. A little bit smaller and it looks weird right there however depending on the motion i'm gonna give it a 8 out of 10 again that being said again you can just simply click on download and you'll be good to go and now this is how you use the web application let's go back to the discord server so welcome back to the video these are our results regarding boy in the office using the discord server and if you were gonna ask me personally i'm choose the discord server um generation output versus the web application because as you can see right there if i choose one it's much more good it's much more better looking regarding the quality i choose the discord server so if you want to download simply that icon right there is the one you, you can look for now before downloading you can upscale one of each for example you like number one click on upscale if you're familiar with mid journey applications regarding this upscale and variations i have it a detailed explanation there so please check it out and right now, let's check on the how to use. If you're not familiar regarding this, and if you have any questions, simply click on how to use right there. And then basically, it will teach you the basics. So for creating videos, please follow this one. And it will give you some samples. It's pretty good right there. And basically, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.